Now, this is a pretty strange year for Nintendo. No new games, no new announcement, but that's all about to change. What's going on, everyone? How's your day going? Today, I wanted to talk about Nintendo in this year, how strange it's going to be, because it's going to be a it's gonna be a weird year. Anyways, so since we don't have any games announced, and, well, we have a few games announced, but besides that, they're not really top tier triple a games and besides luigi's mansion dark moon that's about it now we know about those we also have princess peach's showtime game and mario vs donkey kong and paper mario thousand year door at the only games we know about that's the only games that are coming to the switch this year this is about to change. Last year was a banger year. We need something more like that. We had Advance Wars at the beginning of the year. Bayonetta Origins. Demon. That's an interesting game. Detective Pikachu Returned. We had Everybody Went to Switch. We had Fire Emblem. We had Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Metroid Prime Master. Pikmin 4. Super. Mario Bros. Wonder, Super Mario RPG, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and Warrior Wear Move It. Now, these games are AAA. These games are amazing. The ones that are actually good from that year was, well, that I like personally, was Kirby Return to Dreamland, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Pikmin 4, Super Mario RPG, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, of course. This year is strange. This year is strange. There's nothing good, really. There's nothing good. So, because there's nothing good this year, next year is probably going to be the banger year. Just like we've seen it in 2020. 2020 wasn't the best game, or the best year for nintendo it wasn't the best jam packed full of games but in that year we did see scarlet and violet and legends arceus and splatoon 3. not gonna lie that was an all right year and we also saw kirby's in the forgotten land wait that was that year i'm pretty sure it was oh it was that year never mind 2022 was an actually good year for nintendo so why is it that it's this year the year that we needed to be the banger year when the nintendo 3ds ended its life cycle in 2017 the games that we got that year were actually really really good they ended it off in such a good way that there was so many new games releasing so many so many good games so we also, this is the only year that's dry spell. Only four games instead of most year having over 10 games. Over 10 games. So that makes me think that maybe the Nintendo Switch 2, the Nintendo Switch or Vision, whatever you call it, it's going to come out, it's going to release with at least five games. Five games. Three of them could be AAA games and other ones could be indies. But... Yeah, the Nintendo Switch had it released with Skylanders, Imaginators, Breath of the Wild, and 1-2 Switch. It, uh, it, it started off very interesting, the Nintendo Switch, but now look at where are we at. Started off with four games, and now we're up to about 16,000 games. Like... This is crazy. So, I think maybe they're taking their time. Instead of spending the time and effort into making games this year, they're going to take the time and effort to make sure that the next Nintendo console is going to be the triple A, the awesome console that everybody wants to see. And for that reason, I hope that... It's going to be a massive success. I hope that it's going to be something that we're really looking forward to. Like, hopefully, we see themes. I are 
eShop music, uh, me music something, um, folders for your icon screen, games that, com backwards compatibility games, uh, so much more. Now, there's also another thing I wanted to talk about. There's a thing that's really bad for you who like to collect games. Or, not really collect games, like physically collect games. Kind of resell, like buying games used. There's something that's going around calling a... It's a card that you can put your... You can download games from your own cartridge and then put them to this cartridge and you can keep the cartridge and yeah it's called the Meg or something and I just want you guys to be aware of what this causes if you're someone who buys used games you might be at risk of potentially getting straight up ban or just getting a straight up scam because what are what people are doing with this card they are going online dumping their games to the card and then putting the card and selling it on the store shelves again like it's getting pretty bad so hopefully if you buying used games you at least know where it's coming from because at this point we don't actually know if it's already been dumped so if there's two of the same games nintendo will flag your console or flag your account and potentially ban you ban your account or console ban you so you can't play online you can't do anything at all with a console ban with an account ban you can just make a new account and then but your stuff will also be lost so hopefully you stay alert and what you're doing and making sure that you know the seller or making sure that it's from a trusted source but even then you, they can still get around it so hopefully you guys and girls don't get scammed and i wish you the best of luck if you like to collect them physically now this is I am actually strictly against physical or digital games. I don't like them. But in this situation, getting a digital game is probably your best bet. Then you know that you're not getting scammed. But you could also get yourself the physical title, the brand new, if you want. But at that point, if it's, if the game's on sale, go ahead, buy it or digitally because this is going to be the way that you can protect yourself against something like this this is the strangest year for nintendo very very strange so hopefully that they either find a patch for this or something but yeah another thing that may be interesting strange whatever we actually haven't seen any hardware update. This would be the year that they would announce it because in 20, was it 2021, they announced the Nintendo Switch. I don't know. I'm so tired. The Nintendo Switch OLED. There we go. There we go. I'm so dumb. Anyways. And then the year before that, it was light. This year, well, they should have done it last day. We should have got a sneak peek of what's next. But this year, they should really announce something. But I don't know. Who knows? Thank you so much if you enjoyed my strange wonky video. I am very sorry if it's kind of like there's pauses in between my, my speaking. Because, oh boy, I am so tired right now. But I just got to make this video alerting you guys and girls about what is happening with nintendo and stuff and yeah with that being said if you like this video consider dropping a like maybe subscribing if you are new and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one